Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid. I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement. And today I will bring you something very exciting here. I promised it a while ago already. I got the Snapchat scanner here and I wanted to show you my workflow, how I digitize my paper, completely automated. Okay, so that's what I want to show you today. It's not only scanning, and it's not only, you know, using Evernote, it is much more. So stay tuned, this will be awesome! All right, let's dive into it. In the paperless movement community, so many have been talking about the iX500. And I thought I have to check this out because I want to digitize all my paper, all my contracts, everything I want to have in the cloud now. So I thought about going to this, you know, these, um, well, at least in Germany is available. I think it's in the other countries as well, where you actually can um, redirect your paper mail to this company and they will scan it for you and you will have an app to see, you know, you got a new mail. And uh, I started this, but to be honest, it didn't feel very well. I'm sure they did a good job and everything. However, um, I wanted to have the full control over it. So I thought I have to pay monthly. So why not using the money and buy this scanner and do my own automated stuff and that's what I want to show you today. Okay, let's start it. So that's how you open the scan snap. It's really, as you see, a little thing. You can put it everywhere. Uh, it will be have enough space and that's it, okay? And what I prepared here is a little, little paper. I hope you can read it. This is a test invoice and a due date, okay? And that's what I want to show you now. So you just put it in like this. And I press this button. Oh, and by the way, there's only one cable and that's the power cable. It is not connected to any device or anything via a uh, cable. It is just wirelessly connected to my wireless network. And you see here on the button, you see the button and it is blue on top and purple on bottom. So this means it is connected to my cloud service, in this case, Evernote. Yeah, you see where I'm going to? So when I press this, it just goes through and sends it off to my Evernote. So my Evernote app is already open here on my iPad and in a few seconds, the scanned paper should appear here. So let's sync the whole thing. No. So how this works actually, it sends off to the Snapchat, um, oh there it is, to the Snapchat cloud and then it will send over to the Evernote cloud. So it already appeared here. So we can just tap here download and there's the paper so we press on this and here you go, this is what we actually scanned, okay? But look at this, so let's sync again, so everything is prepared. And now check this out. You see the tag up there? It says invoice. I can hear it. What? Yeah, it added the tag. And that's not all, that's just the beginning. There's so much you can do with Filterize. That's how it is called. Filterize is a service where you can actually do endless things um, to make this happen yeah so what actually happened is I scanned in well let's just put this back here I scanned uh, the paper it was OCR by Evernote and um, then filterize recognized the word invoice in there and I made actually a filter on my own that says if there is the word invoice on the document I scanned add the tag invoice it's simple as that. And I'll show you this. Let's do full screen uh, the filterize. So that's how it looks. It works perfectly on your iPhone, on your iPad, on any device. So that's how it looks. And you have different stacks here. So I made a test stack where you can just put all your filters in. And I have the simple filter here. So if we open this, you see add tag invoice if content contains invoice. 
that's it. So I can edit it. I'll show you how this looks like. So that's how it looks like. And uh, that's it. So let's uh, leave this on and let's create something else. Let's uh, go for create advanced filter in this case. And then on the right side you have the conditions and on the left side you have the actions. So let's go to the condition and have a look what we can actually choose. So if we go for general, so you can choose here the title contains. So if you change the title of your document in Evernote, it will recognize this. The content, the auto section contains note size larger than. So yeah, a lot you can see. And um, you have a to-do. So is there any to-do in the note or not? Is, are there open to-dos? If there is any tag, so for example, I could do a, a filter now, which recognizes the tag invoice, which was added before and does something else then with it. And uh, a reminder, you know, if there is already a reminder on the note, do something like this and so on. I can promise you what I'm telling you here is just scratching the tip of the iceberg. It is unbelievable. The developers behind Filterize, they are just awesome. I met them in person at the Paperless Conference in Berlin when I was there and just amazing what they created there because you can automate completely your Evernote. It, you can, what actually you can do, well, I wanted to show you this. So the action section, you can, you know, change the title, add a reminder, move the notebook, you share the notebook. So for example, you can send it to Todoist on the Todoist email. So it will automatically create a task there. I know I'm, I'm totally sure many of you out there using Evernote already having thousands of ideas what they could do with this tool. It's like IFTTT, but specialized for Evernote. Okay, you even can create templates in there. So you can create a table of content. So it's collecting all the information from different nodes and makes your table of content with a clickable hyperlink. This jumps directly to know it's, it's insane. So I'm telling you, it is just a very short video here because I wanted to make you aware of this workflow I'm having there. And uh, if you're interested that I should do a more in-depth video about these workflows using the filterize and how to set up everything. So you really just get your mail. That's what I do actually. I come back home, I get my mail, I take it out, put it in a Snapchat, press the button, done. I'm just leaving it because everything is automated. Is it, a, is it an invoice? It will be moved to the right notebook and so on. I don't need to care anymore and I'm just happy this way. You can check out filterize for free anyway. So um, if you go in the description, there's the link for filterize. Check them out. They're really awesome. As I said, if you need more in-depth tutorials about it, please let me know and I will show you some tips and tricks the tutorials from FilterRise might don't show you. Okay, stay tuned and see you next time. Hey, no, no, no.